Hey guys, so today we are in episode 2 of um, Building Kashyyyk. Now, yesterday I actually didn't have much to plan because I was so excited in like trying to build it like from scratch but then I realised how hard it would be to start. So because I didn't have much of a plan I just decided to do something simple and right now I have a plan that I'm going to build like Kashyyyk mixed with like a bit of like sandy area like Geonosis. Um, so I'll probably mix those two in because I don't have much good pieces. I guess I'll kind of consider making my own custom type thing. Um... So, maybe in a couple of days I might show you like my Lego, my full Lego collection, but this is um, the pieces that I'm going to use, so it's just these pieces. So I've seen lots of people build and they call them filler bricks, so I guess that's what we're going to call them too, filler bricks, okay. So first off, last video was good. Oh, and also guys, my speeder bike, I actually improved it, so now it looks way better. I'm not sure if it's that accurate, but hey, it's just a start. Here it is. It's a nice little speeder bike. So here, I'll just put, put this here. Um, we can go for the rest of the minifigures, but I'd say um, if we spend too long on stuff like this, we probably won't get much done in like a, in the first week of building a Star Wars mock. Now, I mean, it is my first one, like an actual big one, but it technically for me it is pretty big, but uh, compared to what other people build, it's not as big as the mocks they make. Um, I'll just keep these vehicles to a side, so we need to make some space. Take that. And these weapons. Oh, and guys, I also have two of that clone, and, clone trooper and droid battle pack. I don't know if I told you that. And I actually, instead of building it again, I made it into a stop motion build and it looks really nice. But I'm still working on it, so yeah, just a little bit more editing to do. But um, let's quickly get over with the design. So first, because I don't have much pieces that are useful for this build, because I don't actually go to like brick or lego.com to order pieces i might do that um i know like pink and yellow pieces won't probably be used much uh i'm gonna use like darker colors and i want to use blue but i feel like i'm gonna like add a river somewhere here and probably over here um i mean it does make sense i'm just thinking well <clears throat> I mean, to be honest, we've all had some fake Lego before. You can kind of tell that this is real. That's not, but um, you gotta do what you gotta do. I don't have many filler bricks to use because most of the colors I have um, are actually useful for this build. But I mean, I'm sure we don't need white for anywhere. Like, I'm trying my best to think where I could possibly use these white pieces um so that's another color purple is another color we don't need any of these shades of purple we don't need any of these you know these are kind of useless chop them there so you can build um so technically black pieces I won't use black pieces because if you don't know, they are actually really useful. Um, red pieces, red pieces. Actually, I don't 
need red pieces. I'm thinking of what I could genuinely build, so I'll chuck some red pieces over here. Do I really want to do like side detail? I mean, I could, but it's not going to be that good, so maybe not. Because uh, first things first, I don't have many pieces. Um, I could make it look like, as in like, it's forming out. So um, instead of making it like flat on the edges, I'll make it some something. I'll work with it, but hey, um, it's not, we're not into it that much. Let me just move these a bit forward. There you go. Um, um, I mean, I would use this color. I don't know exactly what you call it. I call this color dark red. Some people call it like reddish brown or maroon. I call it dark red. This technically is dark red. Um, yeah, orange. With orange, we could use fire, but then that means we need red and yellow pieces. But like these are big pieces, so either way, we can just chuck them there. Um, I was just about to just chuck all the green pieces here, but then I realized we're building a uh, area like kind of based on Kashyyyk and stuff. Definitely won't need these. Well, I feel like we won't do that much of a light water, so we can put that there. Um, we have enough for now, so let's just get to building. Let me start. Wait, can you see me? Give you a full view. Just bring that a bit forward. Move it a bit down. There you go. So that's what you really need to see. Let me just zoom in. There you go, that's all the plates. So if I just put one straight in the corner, you kind of can see it like just about like right here where my finger is like right here but we're not gonna put those there because that's gonna obviously be seen so um let's move these books out the way okay um i feel like we should start with the pieces we obviously know we're not gonna need so pink pieces i'll just scatter them around for now I won't go like, I'd say like around here maximum, around here. But like, if there's, we could like put there, but. Um, I also get my plates. So, um, yeah. So I'm pretty much doing a four. So this is my, those plates. And in future episodes, I can show you how I like sort out my pieces, I guess. So, I guess we can start on the edges by just, and kind of, I think you can see that. Not really, because it kind of blends in with the table. Um, we'll get some of these ones. Okay, so, the other pieces we're going to use for now. So, these colours. So, just start on the edges. Giving them a nice variety of colours. I mean, we could go flat, depends. You can kind of see that brown piece over there. Um, actually, I want to get more shades. like that maroon piece as well or like dark red or reddish brown whatever you want to call it mm. oh yeah green we need more shades of green i'm actually surprised i don't actually have that many shades of green in the pieces i'm using right now you can see those yes you can okay so those are the so you just kind of like gonna chop them around like that. It's gonna be kind of like that. So it all mixed around. 
something like that. So uh, on the edges, we're gonna go a little bit upwards. We're not just gonna go like straight like that. We're going to go like bumpy areas like that. So it's gonna have some realistic effects to it. Um, so this is the area that I feel like we're gonna use like the bricks. Um, so, so you don't waste as many pieces. So like here, and place that brick there. You can see it right there. Place that brick there. Um, let the so color variations. Use another one of those pieces. Okay. So we don't need to, we're gonna kind of like scatter it around so it looks a bit realistic. So kind of like those indents. I feel like cause we, I already know we're not gonna get that much done today. I feel like we should kind of slowly detail ourselves in like smaller chunks. So we know what we're working with. So. But if I just went and did the whole thing right now um then i know i wouldn't have much for detailing and it would just look way too simple but if i do like really detailed and stuff i can use other colors and stuff like that or like take one of the plates away so i know oh i don't have that many pieces left to use so i'll just take one of the plates away so i have less worries and stuff like that so that's one thing we could make sure we don't forget oh and i also want to put like some gray into here so this is really our color palette and we don't we, 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 don't, we don't really use that many gray pieces like bricks because we're going to build a clone base so actually i'm just going to chuck those back there now one thing i kind of want to use is this uh mountain piece but then we have to detail around it and like underneath or and like on top of it. Um, and I've actually, I'm going to order some pieces in the future for this build. I'm not sure if it's going to be specifically for this one. But I hope it will be because I'm going to be working a lot. And I'm going to try my best to do this daily. So first off, you guys can get some daily videos. And I can get this done quicker. Woohoo! Um, I don't exactly remember how I got so many of these. But I actually have quite a lot of these. More than I expected to have. And that, my friends, is a good thing. Because... <laughs> Every time I would get Lego sets, it's either got to be like some vehicle, so um, back in the day, and like some police car chase and stuff. So really, I wouldn't get many green pieces or nature parts to use, so that isn't really going to help much with it. No, probably not. Alright, so we're going to get some of these grey plates. I'm going to use some bluish grey as well. Um, I think that's what it's called. I don't have it in my hand now, but people call this dark bluish grey. How is this dark bluish grey? That is not, that's just dark grey. If this is dark bluish grey, and this is bluish grey, that's bluish grey, yeah, and this is dark bluish grey then tell me what actual grey looks like yeah it's a bit confusing let me try to find like an actual bluish grey piece so um if you call if people call this um a, a bluish grey light bluish grey then what do you call this? Blue grey? Bluer? Bluish grey? It's just, this is bluish grey. Or sandy grey. 
Wait, actually, that's sandy blue. Yeah. So then that's bluish grey. Because I thought this was gr bluish grey. Okay, I'm just getting a little too carried away here. Um, let's just carry on. Uh, I'm gonna chuck some little dots of detail in that corner, like yeah, that that's all I had in mind. Um, I don't know why I just chucked around so many of these pieces because I actually don't have much of that color in bricks. So let me just get some of these colors. Uh, I'm already like what 15 minutes into the video and all we've done is that I mean yeah we did like some clearing out I guess but that's not good enough in my standards uh, chuck that there chuck these we might like leave a few dots of grey here and there but only in like the lower levels of the plate Place like got some green there, some of this color over here, some more green back here. So, this is the bit, these corners are gonna be kind of lowered, and now I guess we can go a little bit up. I don't know, like. That wasn't the best spot to put this. There we go. And we could place that the some of this sand green colour, I think that's what it is called. But people just make up way too many colours these days. Like oh all, all I remember when I was a kid was green, brown, cream colour. No, tan, dark tan, white, milk white, maroon, dark red, red, blue, black, grey, light grey, not bluish grey, or lavender, or cornflower that literally looks the exact same as sand blue or bluish grey. Some of this dark grey. I feel like I'm out of the grey I'm going to use for the base. Uh, it's probably going to be light grey that I'll use, not dark grey. I don't know why, I just prefer the lighter shades of grey. Um, I feel like we should add uh, some spots of green again. So we're getting how I like it. I mean, we could kind of like plan out like a speeder bike going here, but I feel like we need more action in the middle. And I and I'm not like one of those oh those pro builders that oh yeah hmm I'm missing a couple of these and then just goes onto like eBay, Bricklink or Lego, either buys like ten battle packs, orders some custom minifigures, a hundred clone troopers. I can't do that. I'm just a kid. Can't really get much. Plus, school exists, so that is kind of a problem. So I don't have complete full time like teenagers and adults at building Lego because the only full time I have is weekends because there's no school on weekends. And if there would, that means you straight up got a either a detention on the weekends or. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna carry on building. I'm just gonna I just get too carried away for some reason, like way too carried away easily. Just put those there. Um, but I mean, here and there we could kind of put some action over here. Like, cause I don't have many clone troopers, and um, luckily the clone troopers I have actually fit together. Um, to be honest, there, there aren't actually that many LEGO clone trooper types that LEGO has made. Off the top of my head, the, it's either plain, plain, 
3.30 second. Five first. And like shock troopers, only because I have them otherwise. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they made Kashyyyk troopers, Genosian troopers. But I mean, in the thing that I'm building, the, the actual only ones that fit are my plane troopers and the shock troopers. The only reason why I'm saying shock troopers is they can pretty much fit everywhere because they're kind of like gods. I'm pretty sure in actual Star Wars, shock troopers are like the gods of the base. Or they're Kamino gods. I'm pretty sure they're Kamino gods. If you don't know what Kamino is, you're not a true Star Wars fan. Or a Clone Wars fan, that is. I'll tell you, so Kamino is basically where the clones get made. Yeah. I think we need some more of these plant pieces. Slopes. I love cheese slopes. And I'm going to put some studs. There we go. And another cheese slope. Some more detail. Um, some of those leafy pieces. Um, so I'm technically kind of building like the more professional YouTubers. Um, thing is, I'm probably not gonna be able to finish this without ordering pieces. And that is a lot of pieces that I'm going to need. Because first off, I don't even think I have enough grey pieces to build the base. That's a little problem there. I can add some little lines of detail. Um, some more slopes. A stud there. Like a red flower. I'm gonna start building a bit more that way because there's too much in the corner and I don't think you guys can really cope with just staring at the corner of your screen for too long. So I'm gonna like kind of go a bit diagonally now and then when I've got enough detail in the in the this area, I'll go down here again and maybe up the edges. Yeah, that would be nice. Okay, um, I feel like I'm gonna need more plates. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put that there, that there, and I don't like this little area here, it's too, too smooth. We need to add. Guys, yes, I have more pieces, and they would be these pieces, the little tiny pots, not many figure pots included. Yeah, little tiny spectacles of pieces I put in there. I'm gonna take some studs and like little pots to, even if I don't get much done, at least it would look nice. A tiny little specks of detail, I call them. I also use like flower pieces because I don't I don't have that many green nature pieces. Do some of them. There we go, it's starting to look a bit nice. So I'm not going to use like the bigger chunks of the, uh, what's it called again? Uh, nature pieces, like leaves and stuff. Well, these pots. Don't know why I spent that long trying to describe it when I could have just gotten it from this pile and just showed it to you. So technically like these pots. I won't use many of these because I don't have many of them. If I were 
to get like a massive set, the first one would probably be like a the Ewok Village set. I know it's retired, but I mean, hey, it's worth a try. I've actually remembered watching a YouTuber back in the day. Forgot his name. I don't know if they still upload or not. Well, basically, he was like around the same um, age as me when I was watching it. I was like six. He was six. Now he's definitely an adult by now. Those videos are like old, like 10 years old. Um, and basically, I, I remember watching um, a three year old video of his. Now, this when I meant three years old video, I meant when I was five. And bro, when I was five, that was like what seven, eight years ago. It's crazy to think that time flies that fast, and I haven't collected enough logo. That's for sure. I like this little area. It's a bit bright, but I need some more darker pieces to put in. Like dark grey and dark green. Even though I don't have... I won't use dark green. Because I don't have... I, I think I only have like six, seven dark green pieces. Which is a bit embarrassing, but hey. I collected Lego cars and that stuff so you might be laughing at me with your nice green pieces but i'll be laughing at you with the amount of tires i have and i don't even remember which sets they came from because i don't actually remember that i had that many um wheel pieces i'm actually putting some good progress into this I can't even light you Get some of those studs. I remember as a kid watching like people make these massive mocks. And, like just, I remember watching their live streams, uh, like six, seven, no, not six, seven, like three, four hour live streams. I wouldn't watch the whole thing, bro. Who do you think I am? I was like five or six, I don't remember. I wasn't that old. Nice landscape. I feel like I need to add some of the plant pieces. But if I put one here, that means I'm not going to be able to put what four. I, I think I have like four plant pieces, which is a bit annoying. Of these ones, we have four. I mean, I have three of these ones, three of these ones, three of these ones, and then like. Uh, one or two of the ones with like instead of this door bro focus okay so instead of having like this pin it would have like the stud so I can just sp attach it on to the plate just like that let me try to find it Oh, I have these like carrot pieces. I could use those and they look kind of good. Mm, yeah, I'll just use those as well. Like the carrot stems. There you go. See, I, I use the carrot stem. Just like chuck these over here. Oh, probably, you know, I mean, it, it was a bit over-exaggerated that I'm going to put that many plates. This is really like my first mock, so I feel like I'm only going to use this one plate. Now that I think about it, yeah, just that one plate. Maybe, what, two of those smaller plates over there? Or one and a half. And then I can just leave the rest in water. I mean, that is a good idea. I, I, I can't even lie. Just gonna I'm gonna design I'm gonna prepare as in like it's only gonna be this one plate 
And then if I have pieces left over, I could increase the size. But it's gonna kinda look goofy with the empty plates. So just lay down some studs. Or increase the height. I was meant to use I was meant to use filler bricks. Oh, I actually do that now. So this is the area where I'm gonna need some plates. So two tall. Yeah, that would be good enough. Don't even have I actually do. I do. There we go. I need bigger plates. I actually don't have enough space to put it there, so I'll just take up the plates. the plates that I have maybe this one is the one that I'll use right now yeah I could work with that okay let me just put some that in the corner put the and I'll keep like some sticking out so I can easily just attach it on to I'll just keep one in the middle. One. There you go, like that. I mean, it is a decently sized plate. Okay, there we go. It's a little flat there, but there's a plate. There you go. Start, you know. Um, I'll take, uh, I'll just keep it there, there's no point trying to take that off, I'll clear that off and it's already looking a bit more filled and I already like it. Add this time, this, no, this, like the, and then I'll place two of these in the middle which would be like there. Go. Then probably some yes. yellow filler brick. Put this one in the corner. Maybe a bigger filler brick over this edge. Keep on like. these three studs there we go and then on like this area here i'll just build Try to find a brick. Separate. Yeah, this already looks nice. Make some good progress. Build. Can't even lie to you. This looks absolutely astonishing. If that's even a word. That probably is, because I definitely know I've heard it somewhere. Don't exactly remember where, and I don't really care that much where I heard it from. Because it's not important right now. The only thing important right now is build Lego. Yeah, play. Yeah, play. Get some more play action. I'll probably use on the ground a bit bigger plates. That is actually a very smart idea. So these will do nicely. I'll happily use some of these. 
So I got some extra plates. And the only reason why I'm recording this, like actually showing you piece by piece, is maybe you guys would like to follow along. Because I'm definitely sure you guys have more pieces than me. Because, I mean, the pieces that I'm using, definitely. 100%. So I know you guys would. Some of these chuck no. Uh, no. Yeah. Uh, and I'll probably this here like a smaller plate, like a lowered. Under here, under here, there we go, um, now I need to, I don't know, like add another plate over here, yeah. one of these here, yeah I'll do that, okay. So I'll probably place like that there. I don't think it will fall, well, I hope not. Now I kind of prefer the higher plated area a bit more. I don't exactly know why, but I just do. I feel like because over here we kind of did it, the colors more separated. I feel like we should do colors more closer together. Of the same colour that is. I feel like we should do that. Um, I'm just genuinely not bothered to go back there for what the trillionth time. I'm just going to chuck a plate from the pile I have right next to me. Probably going to add um, some something I haven't done yet, but probably will use a bit more right now. It's one of these. I've seen a lot of people build. Um, uh, right. Oh, I know. I know exactly what I need to do. Wait, where is it? Oh, uh, here it is. Okay, so I can like get one of these. Yeah, chuck this over here. Put that there. Let that go down. Okay, and I'll probably get some slopes. Or oh, I can add like a leaf piece, like there. No, that's already way too great. Um, I have some of these. I'll use that some of, like, put it there. Yeah. I'll get some plates. I have a dark brown one. I'll chuck it there. It's starting to come good, I'd say. And I'll... Uh, Probably add like a cheese slope. Add one of those. Make some green. There you go. It's looking really nice and detailed. Definitely way better than what we did yesterday. Yeah, I prefer the building part. I always thought the resource gathering would be the most fun part. But I don't even know what world I was living in when I thought that. Definitely not Earth, that is. Like, oh, I'd like a leak here. 
like getting down here so i'll probably add like this piece for like sand i'd like a river like going here and off maybe like around here oh that would be kind of nice so i'll probably add like sand colored pieces and probably like this color pieces to say like wet sand Okay, it's looking amazing. We have like a brown plate here. Y'all yeah, do that. Um, okay, so I'll put this here. Um, like put these over here. There we go. That's very stable. Um, probably make like a small indication of a tree of some sort. I'll, put some of those over there. I'll probably use these pieces that I got from the tank set, the ATT micro build, micro yeah micro build, and add like some detail around here. And that there, and that there, some leaf pieces around here. Oh, and over here is going to probably be like the base. So from here to here is going to be the base, and over here is going to be where the droids are coming from. Okay, so I'll just use that plate, yeah. So let me just get some detail around here. Some extra detail. Some spas and spice, or I don't know what they call it, but I feel like we're kind of getting close to the end of this video, guys. So, um, put that there. Guys, what should we put for the final piece of the video? I don't know when we should do that. Um, I feel like we should kind of get some of these pieces in as well. Like one. Right. The. And maybe kind of block off some of those nasty areas where you can kind of see the holes and stuff. Fix those. I'll probably put this on top of the water pieces. I'll just keep it on for now. Um, to just say that I've done a little bit more. And this will go here. Okay. Um, I'll put these two, like that piece here. Like, put that. So, going a bit down. So, probably place what, this here. Um, I'll put this here, and yeah, okay guys, so the final piece of the video, um, well actually it's going to be the first minifig of the video, which will be the final thing I'll put down, it's going to be a rifleman, guarding the area, so yeah, I hope you guys like it, subscribe to see my videos, bye guys.